the way to Elsden and we're stopping here at the Elsden Gibbet. And we can see that there. It's a hangman's scaffold. Because a guy called William Winter a couple of hundred years ago murdered a lady from Elsden and when he was tried and found guilty in Newcastle he was hanged and his body was brought and hung on the gibbet for all to see as an example and it remained there till it rotted and fell to pieces because this road is at the time was one of the major roads in the area and poor old Willie hung up there until he rotted the pieces and allegedly towards the end there was only the head left and the noose at the top so that is the Elsden gibbet. Oh no, look what happened. We was just about to walk over to the gibbet. And look at it. Well, we're going to have to stay in the car and hopefully it stops raining. Um, we're just kind of coming into Elsden now. If you look over there, you can see where the castle was. It was a Mott and Bailey castle, so it would have been made of wood. And it was the main castle around here until Harbottle was built. We're just coming into Elsdon now. Well, we've arrived in Elsdon, and to be honest, it is a pretty bleak day to day. It's lovely, you just have to get away. <laughs> but we'll just give you a good look. I'm standing under the tree to try and get a little bit of shelter. In the summer, this is an absolutely wonderful place. Lovely old church over there. Let's go and have a look at the church. And up there, it's closed at the minute, there's a lovely little cafe, very popular with cyclists. A lovely village green. I would guess in years gone past, there have been quite a few activities on this green. We're going up to the ruins of a castle or where the castle used to be very shortly. Um, Ellesden used to be subject to raids from Scotland from the border reavers and in one particular raid uh, I think they killed about 50 or 20 of the, the inhabitants from around here because they used to come and steal cattle and sheep and livestock. We've just had a nice little vegetarian curry, in fact a lovely little vegetarian curry in this uh, pub called The Burden Bush which is run by a lady who, um, who lives across there. Apparently the pub had been shut for a long long time and she and her husband renovated it and it's a really nice place and lovely food. There's a kind of strange structure here and we don't know what it is so we're just coming across to have a look. And it is called the Pinfold. 19th century enclosure for stray cattle and sheep. 18th century enclosure for stray cattle and sheep. Be good for kids. If you put a gate on there and you put little kids in, you can just leave them. <laughs> say, say that again, what you just said about...
Well, there you go. So get yourself to Ellsden. Bacchus house. Yeah, you know Bacchus. Bacchus is the god of wine. Ah, yeah. and look, there's wine barrels. Debauchery and all that kind of thing. On the floor. Yeah, wow. So it must have been a brewery or something. Have you seen that really old fashioned caravan in the back garden over there? There's a really old caravan. Just like the one in my latest painting. Yeah. Hey, look at it, look, it's mint growing in the, in the water. Mm hmm. What does this sign say here? Let's have a look. Ah, look. Right, we're going to go and see if we can get up the Mottam Bailey Castle. <laughs> Pete's wearing my hat. That house there, I was just talking to the man and he was telling me it's a really, really old house. like a big ring uh, with a centre bit. Right, oh, let's go on here and have a look. There, behind the trees, you can see the Peel Tower. I think there might actually be somebody living in that in the minute. But in the Riva times there was all sorts of like border skirmishes and sometimes they used to have to put their animals into the Peel Tower and then climb up to the top floor so that they were safe. Fancy being able to live somewhere like that. Yeah, we are heading down the hill from the tower to the car, which is just outside the pub ahead where we had the uh, lunch earlier on. Bull 
for bull baiting, I think it was. Yep, I think it's just past these cars on the right somewhere. This is the, uh, the little cafe, which isn't open, but it's the little cafe. That's where the school was. Yeah, that's where the school was. Wow, yeah. There's the bull baiting stone. This is the world gone truly mad. As I've said, we're in Ellesden and we've got a coronavirus sign that says you have to social distance in the middle of a the field. There's not one other person here that I can see. And they've gone to the expense of putting signs like that up all over the village. It just seems a bit ridiculous to me it does anyway. Uh, another little curiosity outside the Burden Bush pub. Those little steps that appear to go to nowhere are actually steps that people used to use many years ago to get on their horses. Well, I think I found it, whatever it was. Is it a bull baiting stone or a bull stone or something? Is it that? No, that just says Elston, so it's not that. I don't know, I can't find it anywhere. Not sure, maybe the bull ran off with it. tree was planted on the old cockpit and on the old cockpit and celebrates the growing of oh the crowning not the growing the crowning of George V in 1912. Oh so he's like Again, look at the tree. Maybe it's the souls of all those dead cocks. 